Today the guys will be doing a blind review of Dewar's French Smooth. Dewar's French Smooth is an 8-year-old blended scotch finished in Calvados casks. Calvados is a brandy from Normandy, France made from apples or pears. Dewar's French Smooth comes in at 80 proof. We paid the average retail price of 25 for our bottles. As always, your prices may vary. Enjoy. Thanks, Joyce. Let's dive in and see what you poured us. I like. Grainy, fruity sweetness. I picked up on that cereal shortbread right away. Yeah, I'm getting like bananas and dirt. Is your notes working? <laughs> you I agree with you for the most part on the other notes and the, okay. all of the other ones. Just, I'm getting like bananas and dirt. I am getting like a shortbread and like a grain. I feel like he's just making stuff up to see if we'll agree with him. All right, I'm going for a sip. That's oily. Yeah, it is. It's silky. That is silky. It's oily, more oily and thicky. Buttery. That is smooth. I had a lot. I'm getting like buttered bread. It doesn't leave a lot of notes on the finish. I'm getting my wife's shortbread when it hasn't been baked quite long enough for all the butter to really like melt out of it. I'm going to log in some ratings before I add water. Coconut wax or coconut oil and mm. apple. Nope. Coconut wax or coconut oil? Absolutely. Apple? Not so much. So I think it's more woody now. Yeah. Yes. It's not as silky. It's not as silky. It ruined the that. barrel is there. Yeah. I want to say it ruined that oily texture. It, it that ruined the silky smooth. Yeah, the, the, the mouthfeel is, yeah. is gone. And yeah, that's I'd, disappointing. I still drink this, but it was better without. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move on to our ratings. We're talking about the nose palette and finish on a scale of 0 to 5. I'm going to give it a 3.5 on the nose. I like that earthy dirt note that I got on the nose. I thought that was very intriguing. On the palette, I'm giving this one a 3.5. I do think that I really like that mouthfeel and the notes I was getting. That buttery... There was still a little bit of that, like, earthy, fruity note. The finish, I thought, was honestly where this one fell short for me a little bit. I'm going to give it a two and a half. There wasn't enough there, and there weren't enough good notes for me to pull out. I'm almost right with you. The nose, I'm actually going to give it a three, not a 3.5. But all the same notes that you... You mentioned I I was finding dirt, except for I that assume. earthy note I didn't I didn't really find that earthy note palette I'm going with a four on it I thought it was a great palette that buttery shortbread butter bread whatever you want to call it it was it was just so good so intriguing so refreshing and again the the finish I just wish there was something to kick it up a notch but it's not there two and a half. I guess I'm actually going to be giving it the best ratings then. I'm going to give the nose a 3.5. I like the nose, but I thought it could be better if it just had a little less of that grain forward note and if it was just more robust. I'm going to give the palette, though, a 4.5. I really like that palette. Dang. It was yes. fruity. It was silky. It was oily. The mouthfeel was just incredible. Finish. I, I agree. It's a downfall. I was going to give it a 3. We're going to move on to our guesses now. We're going to guess what kind of whiskey we think this is, what we think the proof is, what we think the retail price is, and then how much we'd be willing to pay for this bottle. Butter bread has me leaning Irish on this one all the way. I'm going to go 84 proof. I just don't think the flavors are bold enough to go much higher. Retail, because it's an Irish, I'm going to kick it up to 24. I would probably pay 20 to 22. I think this is an 82 proof blended scotch. I think that it retails for around 27. I would probably pay 25. And this is part of the video where I tell you that I know what this bottle is because I wanted to ensure that we did this bottle ASAP. Okay. okay. So let's go ahead and reveal the bottle. What if you're wrong? I'm not wrong. Today we drank Dewar's French Smooth. Ooh. So what's the scotch? This is a blended scotch whiskey finished in apple brandy casks, also known as Calvado casks or Calvados casks. And it is an age for eight years. It is 80 proof. This is the latest in the smooth cat lineup. You can see the other four up there. In the category of the smooth stuff, I think this is one of my favorites. Honestly, I think so too. Like it's it's up there with 
Our favorite, I think, of all of them was Illegal. The uh, Mezcal finish one. Yes. yes. That's been like one of the most popular ones by everybody. Everyone seemed to really like that one. I do also like the Rum Cast finish one. You I, you like the Rum Cast finish whiskeys in general. I do like Rum yeah. Cast finish whiskeys in general. When it comes to just taste, I think this one is... Definitely uh, up there. It's at least top three, if not yeah. top two. The Illegal Smooth, the Port Cask for me, and this one. But I think this one's above the Port Cask. Honestly, it might go this one, Rum Cask, Illegal Smooth for me. From what I recall, I obviously haven't drank this in Sounds quite a while. Sounds like we're going to have to solve this blind. Well, there's five of them now, so... <laughs> That's a long brawl. <laughs> and I haven't heard anything about them and doing more yet. I'm sure they're going to, because I'm a big fan of the series. I love the series, but I don't I don't know what they're going to do next. Oh, oh, oh. They should do a beer barrel finish. Irish smooth, use Guinness casks, or just X irish stout casks. You know, I don't, I don't dislike that idea. It's going to be the first time I've seen really any whiskey finish in Guinness casks, even. Which actually makes you go, maybe not Guinness. But Irish Stout. Please don't do IPA. No. No, definitely not an IPA. Not an IPA. I'm wondering an mm-hmm. Irish Red. If okay. they, they did Dewar's American Smooth, what would the American be? Canadian Smooth? Oh, no, please not. <laughs> Just maple. <laughs> oh, ma- Just oh, maple syrup barrels. So an ex-maple yeah. syrup barrel. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that, that could do that. Be, yeah. that's, that would be good. That's the thing. You don't finish it in a... Canadian whiskey barrel. No, no, no. Mm-mm, no. Maple syrup, though. That's a good idea. Although, they've all been other alcohol. No. I mean, is, the Mizanara was just Mizanara. Oh. oh, yeah, you're right. The The German has me thinking, though. Triple Bach? I don't know. Well, anyways, that's anyways, enough rambling. I'll probably cut bar. half of that out. That's what we think of this bottle. If you have any comments about it, leave them down in the comment section below. And until next time, may the winds of fortune sail you. May you sail a gentle sea. May it always be the other guy who says, This drink's on me.